Hey everybody, Kodanai Files One here. Uh, this time I'm by myself, and welcome back to Sign Generations uh, Bonus Part One. Um, this is actually post commentary because the original commentary for uh, these episodes, uh, the bonus episodes that I've recorded, I've recorded five bonus episodes in advance. And uh, as you can see here, I was showing what the what the game is like when you actually start it up uh, for once um yeah see uh back to the commentary bit the reason why i'm doing this post commentary is because of the fact that well i had to scrap the commentary and it was either re-record the episode from scratch to do live commentary again or salvage what i had i decided to salvage what i had and I don't know why I was going through the options at the moment, but, I, oh right, I was lowering the volume for the music and the sound effects because, uh, well, I wanted to make sure that my voice was, you know, well heard and, you know, so that way you guys can enjoy my commentary. And this is actually, I guess, a precursor to what's to come for the future uh, in terms of solo commentary. But um, anyway, continuing on, Yes, uh, thank you, uh, past me, for actually uh, <clears throat> uh, timing that well with my current self right now. Um, but as you can see, the loading screen is just the two hedgehogs running, in case you didn't see that from before. And you can buy Time Break in the shop now, which is uh, a new skill. Uh, I don't know exactly at the time of this post-commentary recording what it does yet. Either that or I just forgot because this, again, this is uh, a redo of the commentary due to the fact that, uh, yeah, the commentary I had before, it was kind of uh, bad. It was really bad. Mainly because I was uh, just quiet for a lot of it because I was concentrating on playing the game. So I hope that this doesn't become too much of a habit where I do post commentary instead of live commentary. But, oh yeah, okay. Here I go to the skill shop and I buy the Sega Genesis controller. It, oh yeah, I was debating on what to get actually uh, for the time. But I settled on Sega Genesis controller since I had more than enough to get it. Because this was the episode that I was going to demo the Sonic uh, 1, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Now, um, and I got, I paused for a little bit here because, uh, one, one of my online friends, Temp, was asking if I wanted to play Castle Crashers, and I was in the middle of recording at the time, and then I was debating on whether or not to save up to get Infinite Continues for Sonic, uh, 1, and I ultimately decided against it because I knew I wasn't going to play for that long anyway. So, yeah, getting the Sega Genesis controller will unlock the ability to play Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 1. Not the 2006 reboot, no, I'm talking about the 1991 classic that starred the Hedgehog himself, and back when, in America anyway, uh, Dr. Eggman was known as Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, th that, that's a funny thing about that, is actually a bit of trivia. Eggman was always known as Eggman back in Japan. But here in America, we decided to name him Robotnik for because apparently Eggman sounded stupid to the Sega of America. But anyway, I demo uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Now, uh, as I was saying, as I was going to say in the live recording, but I scrapped anyway, is that this is not considered my LP of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 because as you can see, I suck horribly at the classic Sonics. And I, you know, got the invincibility there. Oh, okay. And the, um, yeah, I'm collecting, I'm trying to collect enough rings so I can get the, uh, uh one of the special stages. Anyway, uh, I don't remember if I showed it off or not, but, okay, checkpoint there. And, yeah, there's a shield up there, which I don't know how to get, honestly. But, uh, 
Yeah, I, I'm not trying to act like this is live. I mean, I've said it multiple times already throughout this just recording alone that this is post-commentary. Um, this is actually the first time I've done post-commentary for anything, really. And yeah, I do get the ring. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, because it's been two weeks since I've recorded this uh, footage, actually. And the post-commentary is, you know, at the time of recording the commentary... Uh, Sonic Generations, in terms of the main playthrough, is almost over, because this is in the last week of February. And as you can see, I completely failed that special stage. Um, I don't play this for very long, because I just say, fuck it, and I quit uh, Sega Genesis. Now, I don't know why specifically they only have Sonic the Hedgehog 1, but your guess is as good as mine. Honestly. Um, but, uh, anyway. So, after showing that off, uh, the game saves, obviously, because it's an auto-saving game. Uh, so, I try to go... I think I go red ring hunting. Yeah, I went red ring hunting into Green Hill Zone. Classic Green Hill Zone, anyway. Because I did... Because I did want to, um make sure that uh, MJ, when he comes back, uh, yeah, because as you can tell, I'm by myself and MJ's nowhere to be found uh, right now because, uh, well, he has senior design stuff to do and uh, yeah, Temp was messaging me again to ask if he wants, if I want to play Castle Crashers, which um, I tell him off camera uh, well, not off camera, that, sorry, off recording when I recorded this footage originally that I was recording. Uh, so that way, uh, cause, you know, Fridays are usually my recording days. Uh, but I figured because now I actually have free time and I have more things to say actually than just, uh, random pauses and just, you know, cursing out whenever I screw up. Uh, I figured, you know, now was the time to, you know, at least salvage what I had for the, the footage and just do post commentary, which is going to be like that for the next, uh, four episodes. I would, I would say, uh, yeah, I would say f four full episodes after this. But for the fifth episode, well, I'll explain that uh, when we get to that crossroad, actually. Um, but needless to say, um, by the fifth episode, the recording was getting screwed up. And I had guest commentators originally for um, the uh, footage. And I knew I wasn't going to get the Grease Lightning achievement anyway, so I didn't bother. So that's why I went Red Ring Hunting instead. Um, but I'll try and get that achievement when I pick this game up again uh, and do live commentary. But no promises on that. Because, uh, as you can see, I already missed the Red Ring. And I knew it was back there. And I try my best to go back after it, but... Red Spring said no. Uh, you're going forward. But anyway. Uh, so I don't know why I kept trying to short spin dash. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just that, you know, red ring hunting can be a bit of a pain, especially if you don't know where exactly to look. Uh, but uh, the, a lot of them are on the way in certain stages, but. It's just, um, when you're, when you, uh, play this game for the first time, in Green Hill Zone, they don't tell you jack shit about the, uh, Red Rings until after you've already beaten it with Modern. Uh, so, it, it's at that point, unless you really want to 100% and go after all those artworks and, uh, uh, songs and achievements and all that fun jazz, um... Honestly, you're better off just continuing right from there and just collect whatever red rings are on the way unless you're a, a completionist like I am. I'm trying to be. Uh, so, 
I decided enough was enough and just uh, continue on as much as I could. But I don't know why I'm fumbling there. Or was fumbling. Yeah, sorry. Again, first time I'm doing post commentary, so forgive me if I sound a little uh, off. <clears throat> also, I've been sick for the past um, couple weeks, actually. And as you can tell by my voice, it's not been a fun ride. But anyway, finish Green Hill Zone again with some red rings intact. And I have six lives at the moment, and A rank because I took my sweet ass time uh, trying to um, collect more red rings. Which I think I go back into the stage anyway, so. Um, or I just say screw it and just continue on with the next one. I don't remember actually because this is the first time I'm viewing it in like two weeks. Or since I recorded it anyway. Oh yeah, I go talk to Tails, because, oh yeah, I got an S rank in the mission, yeah. And then light bulb, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe you have something important to say. Or it's like, or it's like, yeah, I knew about uh, high routes, because uh, that's the way it is with a lot of Sonic games. And then, he tells you some shortcuts to get some red rings, but honestly, with, the, with today's day and age, with the internet and all that, you can just look up where the locations for the Red Rings are. Um, on your own time, honestly. But, again, I will try my best to S-rank every uh, stage and get every Red Ring possible. Uh... I did, you know, as you saw from the main playthrough, I did get S ranks in about a good chunk of the stages, and I actually get a couple S ranks in um, in these recordings too, and a few achievements because of said S ranks. Oh yeah, I tried to go after the Grease Lightning achievement here. Uh, I say try because I still don't have it at this point. Because I need to get to the top route, which uh, uh, I obviously failed. And I could have gone getting that red ring had I remembered that spring was there. But I obviously didn't, as you can tell. But anyway. Um, so I guess uh, since I'm doing post commentary with this, and okay, red ring there. So thank, thank you, Pasty, for trying to have my current self interrupted. Uh, I guess uh, whenever I do post commentary, guys, I'll have like, I guess a um, Q&A session, I guess, because I currently have 400 subscribers at the time of this recording. So I figured the best way to celebrate is with a Q&A session. So um, if there's any questions you guys want to ask me uh, in terms of, you know, uh, you know, like, what's the best advice, or, you know, or even some personal stuff, you know, like, uh, where, well, okay, not, like, questions where, like, where do you live, but, um, you know, uh, some personal questions, like, uh, maybe, like, do I have any siblings, or, you know, something generic, or you can even ask, you know, just, like, hey, uh, uh, so, like, what do I use to record and stuff like that? Well, you know, you can ask any questions you want, really. But there will be certain questions that um, I will not answer, obviously. Um, but, you know, you can ask any question. Oh, yeah, I retry to get the achievement again. But, obviously, uh, again, I still don't have it on this recording, so... You know that how this is gonna end. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, the Q and A session. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is you guys can comment in, on this video. Uh, you, everyone gets one question. So if you have multiple questions, um, I will just, or if there's a repeat question, I will just simply ignore it. Uh, and I'll just go by whoever asks that question first, if it's a repeat question. 
Um, if you have multiple questions, I'll only go by whatever I haven't answered already, or uh, whatever the first of your questions is that isn't a repeat. And I just keep retrying here to get that S rank, uh, not the S rank, well, because obviously if I do start over, you lose a life and you can't get an S rank anyway. Uh, but I try my best to get the Grease Lightning achievement, and I was getting frustrated here, so I just said, fuck it, and I quit the stage. But yeah, it's just, um, I guess, yeah, for post, whenever I do post commentary, guys, uh, since there's really not much else to talk about, um, yeah, feel free to ask me questions, and yeah, and we'll see, uh, where it goes from there. Uh, anyway, uh, oh wow, there's still about, uh, a good five minutes left of the video, or four minutes left of the video, so I don't know how to fill this up, actually. Um, well, I attempt Green Hell Zone again, because I really wanted that Grease Lightning achievement, but, again, there's no point in me talking about that or harping on that point, because, again, I sound like I'm beating a dead horse when I say I didn't get it. And I figured the best way to, you know, do this was to quit out of the stage and, you know, waste even more time. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> But, um, also, as part of my 400 subscriber thing, um, I will also be taking, uh, requests for, I guess, Pokemon Battles, uh, now, uh, or Smash Brothers, you know, you know, if, or even something on PlayStation Network, you know, just so, um, you know, we can have some fun while, um, while you're watching this and, you know, enjoying my lovely commentary. Um, but, you know, I will be taking, you know, friend requests for Miiverse or Nintendo Network or what have you. Um, but I will warn you right now for my 3DS uh, stuff, my main one anyway. Yeah, because I have two 3DSs. Uh, my main one, uh, I am almost full on friends, so you, you might want to act fast. Oh yeah, I got the red ring there, so that that's at least something to talk about. Um, well, for like a few seconds. Anyway, um, I think I may be wrong. Okay, yeah, um, I was originally going to re-record the footage, but then I was thinking, you know, maybe the red rings don't reappear once you collect them. And sure enough, I was right. The red rings don't appear, reappear. So, I literally had to salvage what I had here. and show you getting the the red rings that I did. Yeah, uh but at any rate, um uh for when I get the part five I'll explain further uh as to why there's a uh, gap between how much was lost between the first half of the fifth episode and the second half that I will have to scrap later. Um, yeah, so about, uh, so it's around 19 minutes now, and so yeah, the Q&A session will be open, so you guys can ask whatever questions you want, and I was missing one red ring here. Which I'll probably get when I pick this game up again. Um, but I decided to say, screw Green Hill. And I guess talk to Tails again. Because apparently he's so fascinated that I got a red ring. And I think this is the point when I went to go after the challenges. Uh, I don't remember. Or No, no, I tried the achievement again. Because apparently I couldn't stop myself. Yeah, okay, well, this is the last attempt I do at Green Hill, trying to get that achievement. Because after this, I decided to say, screw it, and um, I'll come back to this at another time. But, yeah, it's just, um... Um... 
So this is actually going to be in the beginning of March when this is uploaded. Uh, so I guess, um, yeah, uh, when it started for us uh, Catholic people. Um, so uh, I hope you guys um, that are watching this, um, because uh, Ash Wednesday was actually this past uh, Wednesday at the time of recording this, um, which is February 21st, actually. Um, but yeah, Ash Wednesday is basically the start of Lent in case, uh, for those of you who don't, uh, are not of Catholic origin, I guess. But, you know, I I'm not saying, you know, I'm not assuming that, you know, everyone is of a particular religion or everyone's atheist or anything like that. Uh, cause I have plenty of friends of all sorts of backgrounds, actually. Oh uh, yeah, as you clearly tell, I did not get the achievement at this point. And this is, was the last attempt, so I decided to say, screw it, and just continue on. Um, but at any rate, uh, yeah, the re the, the way you get that achievement is that you have to beat Green Hill Zone in under a minute. Classic Green Hill Zone. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, part two of the bonus episodes will be coming up in uh, about two days, so see you guys then.